Yeah, we're not in the club, but we're right next to it. Me and my crew, we are country club adjacent. Country club adjacent. Country club adjacent, baby. Country club adjacent. Country club adjacent, baby. Welcome back to Country Club Adjacent. I'm the <laughs> And leave to my right is my baby Ruby. Well, baby, 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 popping. That's your baby. And Mr. Meters Jake Adams. Whoa. We're here to make sure everything is agent fired. What a minute, did a minute. Business and business. Yeah. Yup, yeah, yup. Yeah, yeah. Jake Adams can't be here because he's too busy, busy getting pegged by his billionaire uncle. Ooh. And getting pegged what by a lucky, Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. What a lucky son of a bitch. How? Dude. Okay, he's playing. He played yesterday with Wayne Gretzky, which is cool for anyone, but especially Jake. How do you think, how nervous, especially wanting his uncle's approval in that same group, how nervous do you think he was that whole time? Um, Not nervous. How The question that I want to ask is, how off-putting do you think he was to Wayne Gretzky? <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> That's the, <laughs> That's the real the thing. question. Because knowing Jake, when he gets around people that he really likes and seeks their approval, he says the absolute worst and most off-putting things to them. So yep. what do you think? Like, what, e. like, Greg what do you think? Fitzsimmons? <laughs> He loves Greg Fitzsimmons. He wanted Greg Fitzsimmons' approval. He I, and he chirped Ooh, them about his mother. That's an interesting Tony Fino. Oh he yeah, he loves Tony <laughs> Fino. Made gonna... fun of his family. He made fun of his family. Uh, uh, Wayne Gretzky. The, the, the list goes down the fucking line. What? Wayne Gretzky. Things that Jake has said, and I go, Jesus, Jake. What do you think he's saying to Wayne Gretzky? Like, something what's about it? Dustin Johnson Some doing cocaine. His daughter. You think so? Or, or yeah. Yeah. Something hey, I, about I, Dustin Johnson fucking his so daughter. So how do you feel about uh, a coke addict being the husband of your daughter? Yeah. And then Wayne Gretzky being like, what? And what? Jake being like, I love you. Yeah. It's like <laughs> uh, word for word how that went down. I 100%. love you. I mean, the, the other thing, too, is we got to give him the benefit of the doubt. In this situation, he had billionaire uncle to cover his uh, behavior. Yes, and and benefit of the doubt, his billionaire uncle wouldn't look me in the fucking eyes. Yeah, so so, so you know that this guy has like his blinders are on, and he's always on good. He's in good mode. Yeah. Right? So so Wayne might be like, oh, the son of a billionaire. We need to get out with those boys. Yeah, because definitely Jake says that's his dad. Yeah. Yeah, he goes, he goes, hey, um, Unc, can I just say you're my father this weekend? Yeah. Well, I mean, if Wayne Gretzky met his real dad, he would have been very off-putting. He would have been pissed. I love Jake's real dad. Jake's real dad is amazing. Dude, Jake's real dad is one of the coolest ex-cons you'll <laughs> ever meet, dude. Just just a fucking down-to-earth yep. guy that found Islam in prison. Yep. And, dude. <laughs> Looks like he owns the video store that has the, the real bad naughty section with the beads. Uh, yeah, he comes out of the beads and he's yep. like, what uh, what can I do for you yeah, today, Yeah, I got a new one about latex. You're yeah. lying. You like latex, boy? Yeah. Dude, Jake's dad. Shout out, Jake's dad. Shout yep. out to homie Daniel. Mm -hmm. um, absolute horrible living situation uh, for oh. me. Oh, horrible poor guy. Orders? No, it was oh, great. Oh, here we go. I was the name sleeping. of this episode uh -oh. is That's the Least I Could Do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We need, to, we need to preface this with uh, the fact that this whole last week we were up in Baston, Massachusetts. Baston, Massachusetts. Particularly Mass on the Cape. We uh, weren't off Cape. We were right on Cape. I call it the Cod myself. The Cod? Yeah, a lot of people don't call it the Cod, but mm -hmm. that's what I call it. I call it the Cod. Yeah. And uh, we were staying over at uh, Jake's. It wasn't uh, his childhood home. It wasn't his, but his father's home. Beautiful home. Yep. Gorgeous, like rustic, uh, cod home. Yep. Uh, North, northeastern the, New England. Like, tucked in the woods. Yeah, yep. Tucked in the woods. Woody. A lot of spiders. A lot of spiders. No <laughs> AC. Um, but fucking, fucking phenomenal pool. Yep. Dude, Jake's dad's living nice. He's bro. living real nice on the cod with yeah, his BMW touring bike <laughs> and his and his. Fucking, oh, he's got a motorcycle. And his Porsche dude. Boxster. That's right. With no. his fucking uh, drive home cigar. Drive home cigar. That's right. Jake's dad's awesome. Yeah. Jake's dad's my dad. Bro. Living the dream. He's. It's so crazy. Like, I was like, damn, did my dad go to prison and find uh, Buddhism? Because like he's got the same. Just like chill vibe. I could give a shit. Yeah. Whatever. I'm driving home. I have a drive home cigar. 
Oh, he, that, that's what he does. He's a big cigar guy. That's right. And we were talking, and he was like, uh, I, Griff, we should smoke cigars later. I only got two left. He goes, well, that's one for Griff. He goes, no, no, no. I need one for a drive home cigar. Oh, and that's my when we knew, yeah. Jake, you need to start copying what he's doing. Yep. Follow at your, all costs. Follow your dad's lead. Yeah. Like. So even if you don't like cigars and they make you sick, smoke them on the way home. Yep. Yeah. Smoke them. And I see, I see the relationship, and maybe it's a relationship. Um, like I saw something like where you know you always want your father's approval. We always joke about like you're having your dad be proud. Yep. Um, and I saw him trying to make him proud in all the wrong ways and <laughs> how is he doing that i just wonder if that's a lesson for all of us mm. like we make our dads proud and we just don't know we make our dads proud you yeah know? my dad tells me i know i make my dad you proud. have a phenomenal relationship yeah your dad's yeah. one you're of the well coolest adjusted. crackheads i've ever met yep. yeah yeah that's true he's yeah, sick dude he's sick he's crackhead. impressed with anything i do yeah. the way that he does crack most, on the streets most, <laughs> most crackheads are impressed with yeah. little tiny things yeah. that's right you're right you know? you're yeah, not he wrong. rose like from, fire he rose from doing crack on the streets <laughs> to selling wings in michigan <laughs> yeah so dude, that's hey, a success story if i've ever seen one crackhead father bro he's great yeah dude love you love you crackhead dad dude i would love to sit in detroit and smoke crack with your father like I smoke we will. a cigar yeah. with Jake. Yeah, okay. Oh, we will. A, we'll build a golf yeah. trip around that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> smoke crack with your dad on the golf course. Dude, smoke favorite, crack with that's Phil. One of my favorite podcast when you go, dude. I learned something new. My yep. dad smoked crack. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, dude. Oh my oh, god. Oh shit, dude. Then I called my dad, and your dad's like, "I'm not a crack whore." <laughs> yeah, dude. That's so. He's funny, lying, bro. dude. He's sucked he for crack. He uh, definitely did, dude. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I don't know. He free base, dude. Uh, but dude, uh, it was it was a great time. So here's the thing about the living situation. Mm, tell me about we it. We get done with the round of golf. And, oh, yeah. And we go, uh, we go. Oh yeah, Stotts and Sins got a hotel, and then we can all just stay at my dad's house. And, and right go, there, Mark was like, "Uh oh, that it, like triggered." Does that mean no bed? Exactly what it means for Mark. Yeah. Whenever we, there's an Airbnb <laughs> or a uh, group. Dynamic. Mark gets thrown Mark under the bus. Fuck. Mark doesn't Mark get a bed. Fuck. Mark doesn't get bed. Mm -mm. And and uh, you know it is it's what it is. It's not out of lack of respect. It's just like it's absolutely out it, of a it's, subconscious it's, it's lack because, of respect. Yeah. It's because it's you can handle it. No, it's a subconscious. <laughs> no, it's subconscious. It's a subconscious <laughs> lack Griff, of respect. You forget what he looks like. Yeah. <laughs> it's a he subconscious lack of respect that I've dealt with my whole life, and it's okay because I know in the in the deep down bottom of my heart that I'm better than everybody. Mark, there looks, you go. Mark, so tell looks yourself okay. that. He yeah. looks tell yourself like that when you sleep on the floor. I he tell looks myself like that when I go to bed <laughs> in, in hot. Trundle yes. bed. He looks like a trundle bed <laughs> whore. Yeah, Mark will be yeah, okay. I do look like a trundle bed whore. You do. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm a demon in a trundle Somewhere bed. Somewhere between so. a floor, a couch, and a trundle bed That's yeah. where I whore. I can That's see Mark sleeping on dishes. So I go, yeah. now, this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on dishes. Mark still has a sleeping bag from when he was eight. Yeah, it's <laughs> it a Ninja smells Turtles. like piss, dude. And <laughs> that's what Mark <laughs> sleeps in. I always get the pillow it only <laughs> with no pillowcase. <laughs> yeah. And it's just got the urine stain yeah. that was like made in 1988. Yeah, yes. that's what I get, bro. That's what you get. Yes, so, he gets to so sleep on pillows the, with period we, blood. It's it's, I get <laughs> happens. He sleeps in pillows that are filled with cotton balls. Yes, yeah, bro. It's so goose feathers that, from the 1800s. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Let him <finish>. so. No. <laughs> Go, Mark. Keep going because I'm the trundle bed queen. He's the guy <laughs> sleeping in the trundle pillow. queen. So, I this year. I've I've put my fucking foot down, bro. Okay. This year I started to put that my foot down. That worked real well. Situation. <laughs> no, no, it did. It did it. That paid off. Yeah, yeah. So we'll yeah, get to that. Your, fucking your, your foot's not heavy enough. No, it's not. So <laughs> I've been trying to set boundaries and put my foot down in certain situations mm -hmm. and be like, no, fuck that. I'm just gonna do it myself then. Okay. You know, and yep. whether you make you feel some type of way about like, well, I planned the trick. I don't give a fuck. I'm putting my foot down. So there Trundle go. Bed gets offered. It doesn't even get offered. The group situation gets offered. I know Trundle Bed's coming. I go, nah, I'm going to book myself my own hotel. Mm -hmm. I go, shit. I call the hotel and Jake goes, oh, there's like two other rooms. I don't know. There's like one other room. Yep. No, Griff doesn't make a stink about group situation. Like uh, whatever. He doesn't make a stink. I'm like, fuck that. I'm booking my own hotel. Uh-oh. I'm booking my own <laughs> fucking hotel. Oh, no. 
Jake goes, you see if there's a room when we get there. I go, that's a better situation. Perfect. Fine. I'll see if there's a room. <laughs> we get there. There's one room available. Boom. I book it. Perfect. Mark, but got it. Mark, there's a room for you. Perfect. Great. Griff hasn't made a fucking peep about nothing, but I see his fucking lips going up and him doing a little pace. He's doing a little pace, like, well, Mark got a room. I kind of want to get the room now. So <laughs> we go in to check everybody into the room. <laughs> I don't even get out of my bed to fucking look at the room, and Griff and Jake are already inside of my <laughs> hotel room. <laughs> I get into my room. I put my suitcase there. Griff is already sitting down in the chair mm -hmm. in my hotel room. The jerk off, the cuck chair. Like the, the cuck, cuck chair. chair. It's cold. And I am like, God damn it, bro. Like it's You a, already know it's gonna happen. I already know it's gonna happen. <laughs> I already know that I'm getting trundle bedded. Yep. Like I already know. I mean, look at you though. And and <laughs> and and you know what? I'll put the blame on me. Put it. I'll put the blame on me. Put it. For not keeping my fucking foot down and being like, no. Yep. See, Griff even Looking said he Griff, knows how you know light your was? foot is. Griff, and now for the rest, because now we're going to go get dinner. Now I have three hours of a sad puppy Griff. Yep. I have grit. Like, it, it's like when you're eating dinner and you have the dog just sitting just by your at fucking you <laughs> with those puppy dog and eyes. Like, and you just have to put your foot down. Like, no, this is human food. This is not my your food. This is my fucking food. Yep. This is my hotel room. Mm -hmm. This is my hotel room, bro. If you wanted a hotel room, make a fucking stink and get your own hotel room. But I didn't. Nope. I didn't. Griff. Just sitting there with his puppy he dog eyes. He wore you down. He wore I'm me. eating lobster quesadillas yeah, dude, he while wore I'm doing me this. Down. They I were have a couple great. of drinks. I fucking I let Griff have some of my food. Yep. And I go, Griff, you can have my hotel room. But but you know, in your defense, we we all know Griff sleeps very hot. He's a hot sleeper, like the yeah. hottest. And we did go to Jake's dad's house, and for whatever reason, they didn't have a central AC. It was very hot in there, very humid. And Griff did mention that it was hot and humid in that house. I yeah. tested it out, and I was like, I promise you, I will not be able to sleep in yes, this. You Immediately. Would have, and, he and planted the seed. I'll say this. I'll say this. You were in a great headspace. And I was. Uh, you were a joy to be around. That's true. I was having a great time being around you. Yep. And because of that... I wanted to keep that going, baby. Mm -hmm. I wanted to keep that dice rolling. Ooh. And I know Griffey. What a team hot. player. You would have died in this trundle bed. Yeah. Because I get to my room. And what happened? First of all, I'm sleeping with the sheet from fucking Alex's house. <laughs> the one sheet. I guess the one. I'm hearing this, I'm like, thank God I didn't go because I would have fucking hated that myself. Yeah. No, you would. No, me and you, if you would have went. We would have had the wherewithal to like book a double tree. We yeah. would have been fine. We would have took. I would have had a, like a, a partner in crime. To be like, nah, the short gay fat Mexican and the tall gay white guy does not You would have snuggled together, yeah. yeah. But we slept in the trundle. I slept in the trundle in a hot room. I slept in a fucking hot room. So hot. I don't even sleep hot. It was hot as fuck. Yeah. With the top sheet. I had one sheet. I it, had I had no pillows. I had I had couch pillows, right? Yep. The hard mm. the hard oh. like the, with the, the crochet. The it, crochet. It, it could yeah. literally scar your face if you <laughs> yeah, move too got, fast. Yeah, That's it's, the it's only an exfoliator. Yep. Jake took the only good pillow. I leave I got I got trundle pillows. Yep. I'm on a trundle bed, my feet are hanging off. I wake up at two o'clock in the morning with a dying fucking dog. It's an autistic my, dying an dog. Autistic dying dog just going. <laughs> <laughs> having night terrors throughout the whole night yep throughout the whole night and then i'm like yo what's up with the next morning like what's up with the dog and they're like oh could you hear it it's haunted the dog is haunted I was like, oh could i hear it it was screaming at me the whole night yep oh i'll put it in my room next time oh, i appreciate that thank you so much daniel yeah. and griff just gets to come in ac'd up Yep. AC the fuck but, up. But, you know, it, it wasn't as glorious as I would have thought. First off, the room smelled like someone's grandma pissed in it. Yep. Specifically, <laughs> a grandma pissed. Like, she was in hospice care and couldn't help it. It yeah. smelled like that. And then second, right when I'm like, I walked outside for a second and... The there were some rednecks staying next to me, and one of these guys was like, "Hey, do you have an asthma inhaler?" And I, went, <laughs> and I immediately went back inside, like, uh, "Nope, I, I nope. can't." Yeah, no, this I place will was. I will attest. Yeah. I did see Griff's neighbors, and yeah. it was a family of seven. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's 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 paint the picture a little bit too here. Mark was a little scared to sleep in there. Uh 
He yeah. did mention yeah. it. That was part of it. He did part mention of the negotiation. it. Fully being altruistic. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of fear there, and I don't blame you. And then I went <laughs> to take a dump, and the toilet overflows immediately. Immediately for granted. And I went to take a dump the next morning. As I'm flushing, I see a bug crawling that's already in inside the, pipe. the toilet bowl yep. that was hiding up in there. Could have just crawled up on my bag. <laughs> he been, was there ready to jump on it. Could have been on your BH, dude. Could have been on my BH. So that it's was there. And then there were bed Butthole. bugs. So oh. it wasn't like I wasn't sleeping in heaven or anything. Yeah, because no. when you did go into the hotel room, Right when you got in there, you're like, holy fuck, there's a giant spider. Oh, my God. You were like, it's the Dude, biggest spider. Dude, and your room seen. smelled even more like grandma's piss. Yeah, we had grandma's <laughs> yeah, piss in did. my room. His holy room shit. It was like not like, okay. Dude, like a couple grandmas had a bridge <laughs> Dude, this, party and just took a leak in their dog. That, our room that, smelled okay. That must have been what got these fucking spiders. They love grandmother's as piss. As soon as we get to our room... I like open the door and then I'm putting the key in and I look to my right and there's a fucking wolf spider the size of a camera lens, dude, just on the side of the wall. And I'm like, I can't touch this door. It's going to jump on me. I know they're harmless. I know they don't do anything. I wouldn't have been able to sleep, sleep in there. Well, I mean, thankfully, this was on the outside of the thing. So I, matter. I, I went to the car. <laughs> I was like, I have to get rid of this thing before I can do anything. I went to the car. I actually grabbed, um, I grabbed one of your, I grabbed your five iron. And I was able to smash Dude, it against the wall. I hit the it wall. the other day, and like something was weird with the shaft. It was the spider. Damn. No, uh, <laughs> no, he killed the spider, but he did manage to get a perfect top mark. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you have a great. That's payback for the first day that I had my. Throat. Oh yeah, I remember that. I'm still sorry about that. I don't give. It, I, it was so funny because like now it's you, hilarious, you, you and I don't. You commandeered his three wood like you commandeered my hotel room. <laughs> like I didn't you know. Did you went. Oh, that's my three wood now. I didn't even know you that well at that point, and I hit it, and you, and there was just this immediate pause, and I could see you're upset, and then I was like, ah, oh, he'll be fine, and then there was like, you were really I was, upset. It, it's only because like, it was oh, the shit. Dude. It was only because it was the first day. <laughs> that I had it <laughs> and, and it was like an impossible how did you get a sky mark like in like not on a T. and you trusted how, my game you that day you know it's good. possible now you know it's possible oh yeah now I know it's how possible how bad was I at golf back then guys you have glow. You're, you're, you're glowing up on the court how, you are. how bad was I at I golf didn't, I, you were never like that bad I was in the pocket like the first nine holes of that match. I remember that. And I was like, I don't know if I'll ever play golf again. Yeah. But now, trending. I mean, trending, dude. Yeah. He's hard. in the slot. I'm in the slot. Yeah, dude. But the so cape we, the cape was the cape was something else. Dude. And then we went out and played this place called Hyannisport. High Anus, baby. And it's like a fancy... It's where all the Kennedys played. And as a matter of fact, there were some Kennedys in the course. Yeah. Two holes behind you guys. Let's talk about this, though, real quick. Me and Mark had this moment. I think the dog uh, was uh, haunted by uh, the ghost of the dead Kennedys. I mean, I um, wouldn't doubt it. Because it was just screaming. Let, let, let's talk about this, though, how this course was set up to us and then how it actually was. <laughs> Because I, I don't felt know where you're going with this. well, I, I I felt like the way that Jake was talking up this course and like the clientele and like the people that were there, not that cool, right? It, it, like it was so funny. He was like, "Guys, you need to be on your best behavior. This is like the nicest dude, course on the Cape, dude. This is dude, the the clientele this at this place. They will be me they will yell at you if you don't tuck in your shirt. This fucking guy, Jake, came into my room." before like leaving and i hadn't felt like this energy i'll give you a pep talk i haven't felt this energy uh like to when like i was going somewhere with my father yeah and he was like absolutely not you will not be wearing that. no you will not be wearing so that he did today. what i did to him in oklahoma the i gave time. him a look i swear to god and i gave him a look i was like this and he goes and he like he understood that and, and he said something like oh yeah my dad's country club like oklahoma shit yeah but it was like dude what yeah and then getting there oh my god oh no my god one gave a shit. We, we it was a fucking muni and literally <laughs> dude, it was, it was a, a muni muni on the water it was a muni on in some mash it was a mash it was a, it mash, was a mash muni muni on the water dude. it's got a little they got to do a little better on the top seed but you're dealing with a fucking mash muni yeah it wasn't even fucking nice the people weren't dressed the nice. clubhouse was fine well, i the, had more expensive shoes the than lady all of at them. the turn was really nice when you asked <laughs> her. <laughs> Oh, 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 don't get Mark started. I mean, she no, almost didn't let us eat. 
Yeah. She, it was almost a Montana situation in the, in the yeah. MASH Muni. And then Jake talking all this big fucking talk last week about yeah. being like, Jake talked this big thing of like, if I was there. Dude, Jake had big Juan Tuck energy. Oh, the MASH. He, he let the big... MASH walk all over him, dude. Listen to this. As soon as we, this is when I knew that I was in trouble. We get to the golf course. I was on the back of your golf cart. And I'm just bouncing up and down. We are 200 feet down a hill away from the golf course. And Jake goes, hey, buddy, relax. Relax, buddy. I'm like, bro, I worked at a golf course that was quantifiably 50 times nicer than this shithole. And I know how to fucking behave in front of people that don't like me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, That's exactly what it is. That, I know how to behave in front of, and also, yes. here's my thing. Yeah. Don't put us in this situation. Hmm. That's totally fair. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Don't like, you know who we are. Yes. We're and, country and club adjacent. Of us, yes. Don't expect us. Don't yes. bring us there. Don't, bring, don't we're, take we're, the adjacent out of us. Don't yeah. take it. Because, because, you know, I don't want to be there. No. I want to have a good time with my boys. That's and right. And I was expi and, I explicitly. explicitly. We started. No, explicitly. I explicitly mm. expressed that. We started with this. offered to for us to play there with yep. this boy and I said fuck that I want to play with you Jake I want to yeah. play with my boys I want to play with my boys I want to play with my boys dog Yep So I don't need to fucking play at some fucking No and then what it, what ended up happening was you know <clears throat> Jake and Griff paired off with the head pro of yeah. the golf course in a threesome and then and me, me and, and Mark Scott's paired stuck off at the fucking kitty table with 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 an employee who that, was a 30 handicap who was so fucking bad. He was so bad. And honestly. Fucking nice, sweet kid. Sweetheart. Well, if he experienced emotions. If he wasn't a tree. <laughs> it was a lovely afternoon playing with Mart and an, an NPC character. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. If I'm being honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to play golf with my boy. Yeah, yeah, it was the windiest fucking day yeah. the cape has ever felt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We played with then, chat GPT. Yes. <laughs> I look over, Mark's snapping a wedge, and then yeah. Yeah, you dude. threw another wedge into the bushes and left it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Snap somebody the returned it, and you're like, I didn't want that back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And now don't. Mark is down three clubs, bro. Broke his driver, not even breaking it, just yeah. hitting a ball, yeah, which I didn't think he could generate enough club head speed to do. But, but now I, we yeah, know. I'm, I'm trending. That's what He's happens trending. when you get in the slot. You yeah. start breaking clubs. This yeah. was Jake's driver from high school, I think. <laughs> so, <laughs> Finally. Uh, so Mark needs another driver. Shit. Anybody listening Guys, that I can give no Mark bad. a driver. Gotta He's hit down two again. wedges. He had a dream. He broke his putter. <laughs> the man is trending in the right direction, but his bag is not. No, the, the bag is not. So that that was that was Cape Cod. We almost choked the. Do we almost choke the old lady at the turn? Oh me my you god! Her. We killed her with kindness. We and did. Confusion. I just Mark kept <laughs> looking at me because she was like, "We get to the, to the fucking clubhouse." She's she's like, "I go off." She's she's literally go off, King. We ask about hot dogs. She's like, "I don't have hot dogs." She's been smoking for How eighty-seven you out years. Hot dogs. She's out of. She's. I sold all. I sold all the hot dogs. We go up there, and she gave us the fucking ten times look up and down. Yes. Yeah, like, and who then, the fuck and, are you? Who the fuck are you? And then also, are you fucking members here? Yeah, literally hits Bitch, us do right. Do I up. look like a fucking member here? Mm. No. Mark loves being asked if he has a member number. Are you oh, a dude, member here? I was about to freak the oh fuck my God. out, bro. So, so, so Mark kept giving me this look, like, like his, <laughs> he wide <wiped, laughs> opens his eyes, and I'm just like, Mark, no, 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 no. And then we're talking to our NPC guy, who's an employee, who's, who's never, not doing dog who's shit? never met Midge, apparently. Yeah. Trying, and, and we're like. Do, do, can you say anything? He's oh, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, uh, I work. Uh, I work here. We've never met. And she's like, I don't know you. And I was like, Did the group in front of us? Did they? Did they get food? She's like, Yeah, they put it on Peter's number. And I was like, Should we do? Should we do that? She's like, Okay, I'll just put it on Peter's number. What do you want? Mark's like, What do you have? And what was it? Some kind of IPA. This Mark was like, I'll have the IPA. She continues to list all the Coors Light, LeBan. <laughs> White Claw. Bitch, the first beer you said is I what said, I want. I said, I'll just take the IPA, and then Mark gets whatever snack. I get a granola bar. She says, very nutritional. So I'm putting this on Peter's number. Sorry, you caught me at Bro, the wrong she time threw of the my day. Beers at me. Yeah. She threw my beers at me. Like uh, a little underhand chuck? Bro, she underhand rolled. Like, bro, she spilled my beers at me. It Literally. Was, it was so offensive. Yep. And then, and then. 
with the kindness, she finally realized she was being an old crotchety. Cunt. Yeah, and she says, "If you can't, uh, you catch me at the wrong time of the day. If you yeah. come here in the morning, yeah. I'm, I'm a sweetheart." And a blah. Yeah, and and, and and I just like walked away, and I was like, "I'm gonna freak out. Whatever. I yep. got my beers." To Tim's number, and I'm gonna play in this windy fuckhole of a golf course. Yeah, it was so win- with five this club win PC of a fucking guy. Five, who's a 36 handicap? Yeah, dude. Who he keeps won. going up? He's a 40 handicap. <laughs> He's not. Good. It was not good. Not good. He did not help us on one I, of I our. I was holes. like, try, I gave him like one tip. I was like, hey, bro, swing or something. He's like, yeah, I'm trying to slow it down. I was like, well, it's not working. No. <laughs> so what? whatever you're doing, don't do. Don't that. do that. One funny dynamic that's also going on between the groups is you guys are freaking out, going. Fuck, we made a par. They're probably getting a birdie there. And we're doing the same exact thing, getting pars going, fuck, they had a birdie there. So Jake and I are on like the 16th hole, and I think we got a bogey, and we're like, we're four under. And we're like, there's no, I've seen, we were watching them on a couple holes. We're like, there's no fucking way. I've watched them like miss fairways. There's fucking no way they're better than us right now. They're going to fucking come in at six under, god damn it. They're going <laughs> to cheat. We're not fucking paying them. I know they're going to fucking come in at six under, god damn it. And sure enough, you guys come in at six under. Well, first off, you, you, you had me at an eight handicap. Which you had me at a ten. You had him at a ten. And that's you had too much this strokes. fucking idiot had a uh, he had a stroke on every hole. So we're parring every hole. We're parring every hole. Yep. Yeah. We're parring every hole. Literally. There's no bogeys made out there. Yeah. Even if we bogey, we don't bogey. We, we which we did. We had one bogey. And, and and honestly, like I was playing good to where like even in the win, like I wasn't making doubles out there. I yeah. was making bogeys. My front nine was. Was really good. I mean, my back nine was fine. Do you but know my how much blitz decks we had out there um, on the course? I knew, I knew. I was like, I, at the end of the round, I saw you coming up eighteen. Mark, um, did you, did you have any pretty chapstick on your drives there? <laughs> you seem to be hitting them pretty straight, dude. Griff gave me. <laughs> first of all, I birdied seventeen and eighteen. Yeah, you did. Birdied seventeen and eighteen, and I watched you. This is my favorite part. Was pipe a fucking drive, dude? I piped a drive. You hit a car. You hit the house. I hit a car. Yeah, I piped a drive though. Uh, right down the pipes, no chappy. Stotts his driver, and yeah, you, he smashes you guys my driver. Were just fucking, just sitting out there watching. Yeah, and then like you're watching, and I'm about to hit my shot, and then you stop paying attention, and I literally called your name, and I go, Griff, pay attention to this. Yep, throw a dart five feet, five feet. Yep, make the putt. Yep, birdie, birdie, seventeen and eighteen, and then I get fucking interrogated. <laughs> By good cop, yep. Griff. Jake yep. and I are the, after the round. Jake and I are in the car. Like we played scrambles with them. We don't trust these guys. No what? No but way. We, I, we play scrambles with you. We don't trust you either. I know. Yeah. I know that's going on in your carts. So a hundred percent, hundred percent, dude. I, I <laughs> absolutely know that there's cheating going on in both. Which carts. honestly is okay. Is fine. Is okay. <laughs> there's no pencil <laughs> cheating. There's it's no okay. pencil cheating. Yeah. Sure, there is an improvement of a lie. Sure, by several clubs. No, no, none of that shit. No, no, okay. no. I'll, I'll improve none my lie. I'm not going to move it away from yeah. the tree, dude. Out of a yeah, bunker into a fairway? No, no. that's okay. crazy. That's, no, no, that's, that's nuts. That's abnormal. <laughs> that's that, not what that's, we're doing. That's, that goes that's beyond what even what I'm yeah. ethically capable no, of. No, no. So, it's like, it's like uh, there's nothing off the tee. There's no, like, reloads. No, it's there's no like mulligans. It's improvings, and, like, there's no mulligans. There's no what-ifs. None of that bullshit. I birdied 17 and 18. You're a stud. I know. Fuck myself. I'll finish it for you. Trending. 18, 300 uphill, a little downwind. I smash a drive, go longer the green, hit the clubhouse, find it in the bushes, and I'm going, I'm 15 yards longer of the green and hit the clubhouse. I can't wait to watch what Stotts is going to do. Oh, no. I he did. gets up there and pipes it and hits a fucking car in the pegs an SUV in the parking <laughs> lot. Just fucking Dude, pegs so, a car. It's so unbelievable to me. Because <laughs> it's, it's all uphill. It's and, all uphill. And this parking lot is past the green. It's, yeah. it's not the green, to the right or left. Above the green. Yeah. Above the green. The green is uphill. The parking lot is 10 feet above the green yeah. that's uphill. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, you hit it on the flat. Like, it's it's just infav- unfathomable to I, me. I dude. watch it bounce on the green, and I go, oh, that's got some speed on it. That's going to fucking peg a car. Oh, and that's you so just sick. Drilled this guy's college license plate that he was probably so proud of. That's so just sick. Just cracked it. 
Oh, it was so good. I'm to watch. so proud of that. Um, yeah, made the par, but yeah. dude, I was driving the bra- the ball. The brawl. Like, you were driving the brawl. I was driving that broad so good uh, that day. I was I was smashing my first hole. What was that? Like a 370 drive. Yeah, dude. And then you what kind? That, were you using Blistex or Carmex? This is actually uh, a hotel. Aquaphor? It was a hotel chapstick that yeah. has SPF in it. So yeah. we don't Did know. Did you what's... guys use any chapstick that? So day. it had residual. There were, so. There were Resi- the residual. Light, there was light residual. There was residual from, from the, the day before the day. At, we when we were t- when we were we experimenting, go. and then I think after our ninth hole, we had a I, terrible last two holes. Like yeah. parred the par five after being like ten. Like it was not good uh, after being over the green in two. Um, and then I was like pissed, and so I had some on uh, number nine. We put chapstick on. Number nine, we went. Cha- number we, ten, we went chappy. The, sorry, number ten, we went chappy, and then, like chappy. but then, but then didn't didn't reload. Yeah. So. Yep. Like we like chappy on ten. Like there chappy on ten. Like there chappy on ten. Which, by the way, if you want to have a fucking fun ass day on the golf dude, course, put, chap- put chapstick on your driver, dude. Chap- stop. Up, it works. Stop with it's this shit, so dude. Sick, bro. Stop. I, the first the first drive uh. I hit chappy. We were like, well, oh, you're a chappy guy. You're now. a chappy guy now. Here's the thing. I've never I had never done it prior to this this weekend and I had just seen a video on Instagram it showed up on my explore page where they tested chapstick on a robot and they're like, "How much how can this affect your game?" And it lowered the spin RPM by like 1600. That's so insane. so so the robot is normally hitting like 2800 between 26 and 2800. It now is hitting like under 2000. So those long drive guys could really benefit a lot. Well, it depends. If the wind's behind you, you want spin. Yeah, so you like you want the ball to roll. You want you know, Because when you see yeah. the ball come off the face off a of chappy, it's you can read the logo. Yeah. It goes away yeah, it's you. pretty crazy. So it it definitely lowers the spin. So I was like, ah, that'd be interesting to try. I wonder if on those days when I'm just spraying, if I throw some chapstick on, if now I'm playable. If I'm play if now I, I can it will affect my game to the point where I am in play. And let me tell you, it does. <laughs> so if you're having a tough time, just put some fucking chapstick yeah. on your drive. Don't tell anybody. Just fucking walk do over it. there. And spread it with your finger. Go up and do it. Who gives a shit? Nothing matters. You're not playing for actual money. Tiger Woods says the most important club in your bag is your driver. And if that's the case, throw some chapstick on that. Why, why not, uh, dude? Mark Small says the most important club in your bag is your blistex. Is your blistex, is your blistex dude. So, why hey, not? if you're spraying it, just go, hmm, my lips are feeling a little trapped. Yeah, guys. Hey, guys. That's code. Go. Yeah. Little little dry out here on my lips. Yep. Get some. Uh, That's code for Chappie on the driver. Well, and it was great too because the day before we did our back off challenge at Thorny Lee, which shout out to that entire membership. Yeah, they're, they're great. So was great. that not like that so was great. one of the shout best? Shout out Robbie. He's the best. That was one of the best back off days I feel like we've ever had. Yeah, it was good. And, and we took what? We took uh, we took some money off these guys. Yep. Yep. Uh, we had a lot of fun. And that course was fucking off. Shout out Thorny Lee for having a meticulously well manicured golf course and letting us go out there and be idiots. Mm-hmm. Great the course. They're the best. Great golf course. Took good Mark care and of it I, when we went out there. Uh, me and Griff lost a match. And, we just we, gave Griff, up. Griff uh, reminded me of that dude, that old dude who was like shooting the round of his life in the rain in Caddyshack. And then, so I am like, fuck yeah, I'm going to pair up with that guy. <laughs> and then and as soon as I pair up with him, he just fucking shits the bed. Yep. <laughs> and I realized that me and Griff have n- cannot battle through adversity. And we, are <laughs> we just if throw If one yeah. thing goes wrong, it, we both, <laughs> we both just give up. I think the most fair team is you and me and Mark versus Jake and Griff. I yes. think that's the most fair team. Yes. Because me and Jake will grind you down. Un- unequivocally me and griff w- when when we used to partner up it was like w- we went undefeated for so long yeah we didn't lose a match to to jake and mark for <laughs> two years for like two years <laughs> yeah, and then bro. we finally lost me one and jake have no partnership you guys can't you guys can't be together me and jake can battle through adversity very well yeah but we can't close no and then me and Mark have the best chance of closing because we prop each other up. Yeah, dude. Me and me and me and Stotts is just a great partner to have um, with anybody. Yeah, like, I'll never. We'll never and, have mental and issues. I'm, and I'm very hard to work with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. I, I tried to help Mark on a chip. I go, just remember when you talked on the green, just turn your body, and you're like, don't you. F- 
fucking ever tell me that again. And I was like, all right, there goes my partner. Oh, no. Dude. And then, like, uh, both me and Griff hit a bad shot. Uh, I blamed it on Griff. Griff blamed it on me. And then we were just done. We're yeah. like, nope. We just looked at each other. And we're like, we're, we're just disgusted with each other. And then we're like, just, you ruined the best round of my life, you fucking scumbag. <laughs> that, that, was a, that, was the look, that was the look he gave me. And then I was giving him the look like, oh, you can't fucking carry me for once in your fucking life. <laughs> and it was just. It was just Not over. Good. Yeah. Me and Stotts, when we're together, bro, it's like, it doesn't matter. We, yeah. we, we battle through. We battle yeah. through. We battle okay. through. We prop each other up. He hits a good shot. I hype him up. I hit a good shot. He hypes me up. Yeah. We have a bad hole. It's like, hey, yeah. no big deal. We'll get him on the next one. Yeah. It's good. It's, yeah. It, it works. Yeah, I but wish that's, we would have worked that way. <laughs> and, you and, and you and Jake are like the two best players. So like you should... You in theory. should, in theory, be perfect together. Yeah. But you two have such a tumultuous partnership yep. that at any given moment, it could fall apart. It could fall. Yep. It's always tense in that cart. Yeah. yeah. So there was a good moment when you gave him, when you gave Jake a. Uh, oh, I tip. love that so much. Yeah. You go, you go, oh. uh, you go, uh, <laughs> yeah. you hit like a knockdown seven. And both me and Griff have been partners with Jake for so long. Oh, yeah. That uh, we were like, oh, that's not what you tell oh, him. Oh, that's perfect. Thank yeah. you, Stop. As soon as you said that, both me and Griff just instinctively look at each other and went, yep. oh, like, oh, yes. yeah. And then Jake just hits a fucking hook. It was bad. He, you, you made him, like, second guess the shit out of himself. Yeah. yeah. And we knew it, he was toast. But, that, mm -hmm. but I was right. I was right. But yeah. he couldn't process it. He, could he couldn't process it. it. Jake can't process other people being right. Oh, isn't that isn't that silly? Yeah. So we did that, and we went to we had our tournament. Mm -hmm. Oh, at Winslow's. Winslow's on the Harbor. Green Harbor. On the mash. In the mash. Dude, shout out to everyone that came out and made that an epic event. Dude, Fucking you guys, Boston area, you guys are awesome. Wow, that was that was to me that was our best tournament. Yeah. You know, like we had great out great turnout in Arizona. We had a we we started to figure out our format in West Palm Beach, and I think now it's just fine tuning and dialing it in after this event because it was fucking phenomenal. Yeah, by dialing it in, I think it's just like blowing it up more. Because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Such a fucking good time, bro. Oh my it, god, it a party! I mean, we want to shout out. I want to shout out Willie the dishwasher. Willie for the blessing dish us with a little package. Oh my god, he and gave being us being my son. I want to shout out Charles, our eighteen year old, uh, our stepson. Yep. Um, who has not grown into his body who yet. Who also has an incredibly crazy sock tan line. Yeah, and and dude, when he hits his growth spurt, because the kid's like 6'5", yeah. and you're looking at his legs, and he's like, oh, this dude's going to be 7 foot. Dude, he's got his... It's like one day he'll have ankles, but like for right now he has those like child cankles. Yeah. yeah. You know, like when a Jankles. kid... Jankles. Yeah, yeah chankles, chankles, dude. <laughs> yeah, so when he finally hits that growth spurt, he's going to be like a, another chankle tall. Yeah. And bro, he's going to... Fucking pound the ball, dude. Bro. He's already pounding the ball. That's what I'm saying, but like even more so. Yeah, man. He, he remind. He's gonna be as big as um um. Remember a long drive, dude? Uh, that we met in Colorado for the first time with Jesus. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That dude, Matt. Uh, Matt, the Viking fella. Those are some big specimens over there. Yeah. Long drive. Dude, yeah, dude, he's gonna be that big. Yeah, so that was great. So the format that I'm specifically talking about is during the long drive, microphone back off challenges. Yeah, that's gonna be the thing. Yeah, that's gonna be the that's thing. That's the show. That's like the grand finale during the long drive. Yeah. yeah, we just were doing back offs with everyone. It was great. Mark thought he was doing bad. He wasn't. And yeah, then he just you, resorted. I thought I was bombing. No. He just resorted to just calling people retards and inbred, and it was great. And it worked. Yeah. <laughs> I went the most basic comedy route. Here's I couldn't thing. think of anything cute to say. Here's the thing. So I was just calling people fat retards. Here's the thing. And it was killing somewhat. Here's the thing. Th like, the people don't care. Yeah. That you, When do you hear that word ever yeah. anymore? You don't yeah. hear it. Except for on so, the podcast right now. So it's shock, <laughs> it's shock value humor. And also... There's no such thing as being above the crowd. Yeah. That's dumb, and it takes away from comedy because you think you have to be smart and talk a certain way. Uh -huh. No. If you make them laugh, you've done your job. Yeah, that's true. So there's no being above the crowd. You can, someone can, you can call people a fat retard, and if that makes them laugh, hey, we're having fun out here. You made people's day better. Yeah. It was a good time. Yeah. We had a great time. 
I'm, I want to do it on like the putting on a putting competition too. Ooh, that would be great. Yeah, be oh, good. you're gonna pull the shit out of this. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's it's it's just. Yeah, it was a great time, bro. Shout out to Winslow. Shout out to uh, Green Harbor. Yep. Um, the owners <clears throat> of Green Harbor, very nice people. Yep. Um, make sure if you're in that area uh, of the Massachusetts area, go check out that golf course. Mm-hmm. Go check out. You can go buy one of uh, these shirts that are in stock. That's right. Over there, these Winslow the Country Club. The only location. place you can get them is there. The only place that you can get them is at Green Harbor. Call them up. Ask them to ship them to you. Yeah, please. They will. I, I don't know if they will. I don't know if they will, but it'll but be a cool. You it, try. Cool flex. So I want to close out. With a situation that happened with me at dinner last night to see how you guys would have handled this. I'm getting dinner with, uh, you know, one of the investors, great guy over there at Random Golf Club. And we're just having a great dinner on the beach. Uh-oh. We're just chatting. I'm, everything's Where'd great. You, where, where, where were you guys eating? We're in Laguna at a sushi place. Okay. Having a great combo. And I'm, I'm particularly a little bit louder, but usually it's not a problem. And out of nowhere, this older dude, maybe mid-60s. I'm just having a great convo. Turns around. He goes, hey, could you please watch the language? And like, I don't, I don't think I say fuck a lot. I, I, I do say it, but he turns around and he goes, hey, could you please watch your language? Now that triggered me. Mm. And I wanted to explode, but I, you know, the guy I was eating dinner with, I'm like, I'm not going to do this. So I just went in my conversation and I stopped cussing. And I was like, I don't, I don't think that's, and I don't have a problem with that. Now, this guy, in my opinion, is out of his mind, and he's out of place here saying that. You're in a public place. People are going to cuss. Just deal with it. Yeah. That's what you deal with. You just deal with it. He's there with his girlfriend or wife, whatever it was. Um, what? How would you guys have handled that? I think I need more details, right? Because I've definitely been in places, public places, airports, things like that, and I'm like, going off on one of my heated rants and I do tend to cuss a lot and sometimes I'll catch like a look from a parent or maybe someone will do that and I will be the first to be like yo I'm sorry my bad if yeah. there's kids around and you're kids at an around. airport I can now, see that if I'm at a bar if I'm at a restaurant what a bar and a restaurant and someone does like that and it seems like flex and it seems like they're trying to put me in my place no sir no, mm. I'm not. I'm not not chirping back. Like I, I'm saying something. What would you? And that's we're just getting dinner. Uh, I think you handled it perfect. I think yep. that's probably how I. Would that's handle the it. right way to handle it. What the, you did is the right way. Yeah, like I think that's how I handle it too. Like yeah. you just kind of say like, yeah, my bad. Would you? Oh. Wouldn't have snapped back at him. No, I, as uh, much as I would have wanted to. <clears throat> it depends also who I'm there with. If I'm there with you guys. I'm I'm snapping back. If I'm there with my girlfriend, it, you know I'm not trying to make a scene. Yeah, you don't. It, it depends it, on who you're with. If, obviously, if, if I'm there with this guy who you're trying to get free merch from, I'm not snatch. I'm not. You know, I'm not snapping. Okay, on if him. you're with us, if you're with your boys, yes. What do you? This guy turns if I'm around. With, if I'm with Alex. Yeah, if you're with Alex, okay, so... so I'm going you, all out. If you're with Alex... I'm calling this guy a fucking piece of shit. I yeah. turn around and I'm and I looking go, directly at Alex and I'm going like this. How... I'm doing, I, I, I'm I going, mind your business. I'm going to say, I'm. we're in a public place. Yeah. It's a free country. That's what I wanted to you say. You shut the fuck up. Go, don't talk to me. I don't know you. What I wanted to say, if it wasn't him, is, hey, man, you're in a public place. If you don't like it, you can go eat somewhere else. That's what go. I wanted to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's not the right move if you're nah. with anybody and respectable. But if you're I wanted with to anybody snap. respectable, that's not what you I do. I wanted it to be like him saying that to Mark and it was just us. Oh. And send Mark in. Just there like, you Mark, go. go in if there. If it's just go us, off. we can do... Because here's the thing. No You've one... You've seen me at the sandwich shop. Yeah. I wanted to see sandwiches. I wanted to yes. see it was just us, and then Mark go off and Jamba we get Juice. kicked out. I wanted us to get kicked out of that restaurant. Yeah. You see me at yeah. the Jamba Juice. Yeah, it's because th that, that's the thing. I feel like with us, there's no embarrassing us. Yeah, unless like, un unless it's someone, in unless someone does something like cringily unfunny. Uh huh. Then that's embarrassing. But there's no embarrassing us in terms of making a scene. So. Yeah. Make a scene. I'm there for it, yeah, dude. dude. I yeah. wanted. I There's wanted. No, like, oh my god, you're making a scene, dude. It's stop. more. It's more like. It's more like. Hell yeah. yeah exactly. But you know, you're with. You're with yeah. your girl. 
she'll yeah. get embarrassed. Yeah. You're, you're with yeah. you're with this random guy you've never met before. He's gonna be like, hey, calm down, blah blah blah. I, yeah. You know, they no, don't want he, that. then he's embarrassed. Yeah, so, yeah and, and I'm wondering what this guy's lady was thinking. Was she embarrassed because he didn't have to say anything? She's he didn't like, have oh, to. No, you're gonna cause a scene. My, my and he said, thing, I have watched someone when I was bartending. I have someone walk walk watch someone leave his bar stool, go up to a table, and tell them. You guys need to shut the fuck up. Oof. And they go, we're in a public place, sir. And he goes, exactly. There's other people around. Keep it the fuck down. And I was like, that was awesome. That was kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. I, I almost respect but that. But see, but he's not telling them not to swear. They're just probably being loud as fuck. Yeah, that's true. So, it'd yeah. be, you know, when it comes to swearing, you know, there's definitely a generational difference. I feel like we say fuck shit. We say all that shit all the time. And it's just part of our vernacular. Whereas somebody that's you know of an older generation, 65. they think they still think of that as taboo. You know, they still got whatever fucking ladies Catholic are guilt, yeah, and that weird whatever fucking Don't thing. Don't swear in front yeah. of the lady. Yeah, yeah, that's what it felt like. And I think it was yeah. like it's just it's just yeah, a so disconnect there's a, there's a between the two generations. It's yeah. like that fine line for me. Like there's a switch in my head to where it can either go to to where you go or I say fuck off. Yeah. Like, yeah. I wish it was just us and he'd have said that to you because I'm like, dude, I'm ready to get us kicked out of this fucking restaurant. Yep. Let's go. Yeah, you are, Griff. You're always ready. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, guys, uh, we love you. Uh, thank you for uh, coming back for another week on the podcast. You can uh, catch me on road. stream. You can, you can catch, catch me on me Twitch. You can catch me at twitch.tv slash Mark Smalls Live. Um, and I won't you respond to your comments. at the, <laughs> the Live Bedminster <laughs> Tour. We will be at Live in New Jersey. Um, with Don T again. With Don Donnie T. Again. T. Don Round T three with Don T. Uh, so we'll see you there. Stodge, you got anything? Uh, I don't have anything right now, but I do have to say thank you so much again for coming out to Winslow's at Green Habba. Thanks for all the hospitality, all the cool gifts. You guys fucking rock. Shout out Putt Buddies for uh, making the sickest fucking uh green fixing ball marking tools of all time uh guys we'll see you in new jersey and uh we can't wait to give you a big ass hug as long as you're not sick Catch these hands, yep. bro.